All right. Today, we have the decent back on the brew bar, and we're talking about something that I find really, really interesting, which is third-party skins for these machines. Now, I don't necessarily love the term skins because I think it implies mostly a superficial or an aesthetic change, when in reality, these third-party skins can offer a massive functionality change or workflow change to the way you use your machine. One of the most popular ones, and what has turned out to be my favorite, is the DSX skin. So that's the one that we're gonna be diving into today. When I first got my Decent, I spent most of my time in the Insight skin, or I spent all of my time in the Insight skin. There's a lot of stuff to unpack about this machine, and I just didn't want to add another layer to that. However, after using the DSX skin for the better part of the last three or four months, I can safely say I wish I had done so sooner, and if you are a decent owner, I highly suggest you give it a try. And I'm about to show you why. So let's put a big version of the DSX skin up here. As always, I'm gonna be actually using this tablet down on the table so I don't have to reach around and be a little awkward. So here is the DSX skin. It looks quite complicated and that's probably one of the things that stirred me away from it when I first saw it and I immediately flipped back to Insight. I ran away scared. But now I realize it's not actually that intimidating. The main guts of the DSX skin are these three cups on the bottom left. And this is where the true power is held. It allows you to flip between three pre-programmed profiles that go into absolutely astounding granular detail. So on the Insight skin, if you wanted to switch profiles, you would have to grab your profile, change the settings, save it, select it, and go. Meanwhile, if we're on the DSX skin, I can have one setting for my latte on the blue cup, and then maybe for my girlfriend, I can have a lighter roast on the purple cup, and I can flip between them in a matter of seconds. And I have done that. I have used my niche zero at one grind setting, brewed a light roast, and in the very next coffee, brewed a darker roast for my latte with one push of a button and one grind setting adjustment. And I did that every single morning Without flaw, it worked beautifully. Holy smokes, what a workflow. It was absolutely incredible. So let's go in and program in one of these cups so I can show you exactly how much detail you can go into. So if we click on the DSX skin settings, we go into this workflow setup page. And this allows us to program each and every one of these cups. So if I click on the profile up at the top, which is currently Kremen a lever, I can go in and choose which pre-programmed profile I want to use. So let's choose the adaptive. You guys know I really like that profile. And let's click OK. So now we're programming for the adaptive. On the next row down, we can tell the machine how much of dose we're putting in, and it will automatically program our brew ratio or calculate our brew ratio up in the top right corner. So I know if I want a 1 to 2, I can just start lowering this until I get to my 1 to 2. Obviously, that one's easy. 18 in, 36 grams out. So once I have my brew ratio, we can move down. The next row is our steaming settings, and these are actually automatically calculated. All we're gonna tell it is what pitcher size we're using. What does that mean? We'll get into it a little later on. It's pretty freaking cool. Going down, we have our flush settings. So on the DSX skin, we can actually program in a preset flush time. On Insight, you have to start your flush and then stop it manually. On the DSX, you can program your flush length, press it, and walk away and do other things while it flushes. So I found five seconds is generally where I like it. However, if you have a really soupy puck or something, you can actually watch and tap it a second time and program in how much longer that second tap adds to your flush cycle, which is interesting. The next row down, we have our hot water settings. So on Insight, you're programming a hot water volume and temperature for every time you press the hot water button. On DSX, you're programming the hot water volume and temperature for just this cup. Another interesting thing about DSX is you can actually dose by weight when you're doing hot water. On Insight, you're only going by volume, which can be a little bit inaccurate. On DSX, you can actually, if you have a scale, dose by weight. Pretty cool. Okay, so if we're happy with these settings, this is gonna be my new latte setup. I can click on the blue cup, and that is my new blue cup. If we return to the home menu, we can see that adaptive for medium roast is now in there, and that is our default. And this is how I generally like to use the DSX skin. I have my latte setting on the left, 
I have my current lighter roast, whatever's on top, in the middle, normally on a bluing or in a lingerie setting. And then for the third cup on the right, what I like to do, if we go into these settings, I like to program in my forward flush. And I put that as the orange cup. So now, within three taps, I can have my latte setting, I can have my light roast setting, and I can perform my cleaning flush without having to go in and dig into the settings. That is awesome. And that is really the power and what I found most useful in the DSX skin. But there are a few other really cool features, one of which being that automatic steaming that I was talking about. What the heck does that mean? Let me show you. Within a second setting screen, you can program in the weights of each of your pitchers while they are empty. So for my small jug, this one right here, I have programmed in that it weighs 205 grams. I have also programmed in that in this jug, 200 grams of milk will take 43 seconds to reach the temperature I want. Why would I tell the machine this? Well, what it allows me to do is when I have my full pitcher of milk, before I start steaming, before I start making this drink, I can put it on the teared scale and it will calculate how much milk is in that pitcher. You can see down here, we have 231 grams. If I go over to my latte, the default steaming time is 43 seconds. But if I click this, it will adjust to 50 seconds because it knows I have 31 extra grams of milk in this pitcher. And this might seem kind of gimmicky, but it's actually really cool because what it allows you to do is focus more on your steaming technique, focus more on your texturing, and not constantly be tapping and making sure you don't over or under steam your milk temperature wise. And within, you know, plus or minus 15 or 20 grams, it's actually really accurate at adapting. So I found this really, really cool. Obviously, as you get to the extremes, it starts to be a little less accurate, but this is a really, really cool system. So let's just demonstrate. So I had 231 grams in there before. If I take an obnoxious amount out and I put this back on, now it says I only have 92 grams of milk in there. So if I click it, we're now only gonna be steaming for 20 seconds. It's pretty cool. You might also notice this bean on the other side of the scale. What that is, is you can actually dose your beans in the same way. So if you wanna tell your machine exactly the dose you put in, you can. I didn't use this a whole lot because I single dose, so I'm already weighing my doses. It's always exactly 18 grams. However, what I do like is that in the middle, if I actually tap on that, it will zero my scale. Or if my scale turns off and disconnects, tapping this will reconnect the scale. So it's nice to have that front and center. All right, what else is in this DSX skin? Well, on the top right side here, you can see our pass shot. So if I click on this, we can see the chart. And what's nice about the DSX skin is you can show exactly what information you want. So I can take off the flow rate. I can add in the delta. I can add in the resistance. I can take off my goal curves. We can adjust this however you want to really customize the way it looks and declutter it if there's certain information that you simply don't care about. So that's interesting. Right below that, we actually have a graph of our steaming performance, which is cool. I can't say I've ever really used it, but you can see the pressure of the steam, the flow rate of the steam, and the temperature of the steam as that steaming progressed. I honestly can't tell you what this would be used for. However, people who use this machine are extremely geeky, even geekier than myself, if you can believe that. So someone has probably found a use for this, and the graph is there. So that is pretty interesting. Below, we can see the exact stats for that last shot. So if I dive in, I can see that this was roasted by Cavan Coffee, it was a coffee from Brazil, it was a medium roast, and I was using the niche zero on a grind setting of nine. So you can program this information if you want and save it in, and I've actually found it becomes quite useful later on. Like I have bought certain coffees, then moved on from them for a few weeks, and then bought it again down the road, and I've been able to dig back into this library and find the exact grind setting I was using, program it in, and pull a pretty much perfect shot on the first try, which is pretty neat to do. I didn't think I would use it a whole lot, but I've actually dug back into this library quite a few times. Other than that, there are a few Easter eggs hidden within the DSX skin. This skin can make pizza. That is right, it can make pizza. 
let me show you. So within this skin, there are a few plugins you can use. One of them you are seeing is Pizza Dough 2.0. There's also an extraction yield calculator. So you can activate whichever ones you want and that will add it to this menu. So you can see we have an extraction yield calculator if that is something you'd be using. And we have a pizza dough calculator. If you are a pizza fanatic, you like to make your own dough, you care about things like hydration and what yeast you're using, you can use this. And Damien, the creator of this skin, loves pizza and he put this in for that exact purpose. But Matt, why the heck do I want to turn on my coffee machine to get a pizza dough recipe? Don't worry, you can program it to actually be active on your sleep screen. So if I turn this off, you can choose one of these plugins to be active when you touch the left side of the screen. So the right side of the screen will turn the machine on and the left side will access whatever plugin you want without actually heating up the machine. Kind of fun. It's an appliance that sits in your kitchen. You might as well have some of these features built in. So you can have a pizza dough calculator. Also from the sleep screen, you can see that I can access my history. I can compare and contrast shots without turning on the machine. And another plugin that I find really cool that really only decent owners will understand is this flow multiplier calculator. So it will look at the shot, it will look at the relative flow rates of the espresso into the cup and the flow rate from the group head and it will let you know what you should adjust your flow multiplier to to get it more accurate, to get those lines overlapping. So it shows your current and it shows a suggested, which is really useful. As you guys know, when you use a light roast or a darker roast or certain different profiles with different flow rates, those lines can tend to diverge a bit. So it will tell you how to line those up which, without having to do that kind of trial and error process. So the flow rate multiplier calculator is pretty interesting. Other than that, that's really everything that's built into the DSX skin. Obviously, because it's a custom skin, you can also dive in and change the fonts, you can change the colors, you can put a label up at the top. You can see I have Lifestyle Lab on this personal machine. However, for the sake of this video, giving full credit to Damien and the DSX skin seemed only right. From a aesthetics perspective, I love that this is running on a dark screen. It's not a fully light screen uh, sitting on the top of your machine, so that's really, really nice. But clearly, the advantage to the DSX is the functionality and the workflow advantages. The auto steaming, the fact that I can have my latte setting, my light roast setting, and my purge at a click of a button is super, super useful. So, if you own a decent machine, I highly recommend you check this out. And if you don't own a decent, I hope you appreciate the kind of functionality that this can provide. These extra skins, these extra functions are constantly being developed by Decent themselves, but even more so with the third party community that surrounds these machines. And I find that really, really cool. I also wanna quickly say that I know I've been breaking this machine down into a lot of different chunks. I think that's kind of necessary for a machine this complex, but the next time you see this machine will very likely be the full review. So. Look forward to that. Be sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss that video and hit the like button if you enjoyed this one. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.